Alrighty, y'all. So, we've come to the part where a lot of people get confused, which is how to put in the pickup sticks. Now, what I adore about 10-inch looms is their portability, their size, but I also love the fact that because they're, they're so small that some simple things, you can use simple things you can find around the house um, to work with them. Um, to do things and one of those things are these are paint stirrers that I got from Lowe's and you know sometimes you can get them for like 50 cents sometimes they don't charge you just depends on your Lowe's but anyway I have three of them and the reason why I have three is I don't need three but sometimes I'll show you in a different video how if you have really sticky yarn you may want the third one to help make your shed but I'll show you that in a different video but for the moment, I'm going to be using this blank pickup stick to pick up the threads that I'll be putting on my pickup stick A. And pickup stick A is the pickup stick that I'm going to be using to weave the top layer. But I'll get to that in a minute. So, pickup stick A. So the first thing we're going to do, and I'm going to, I've taken a picture of this so you can see, but you're going to pick up every other thread. So what you're going to do is you're going to start with you can start with any thread i like to start with the first thread and so you're going to pick up the first thread and then you're going to in and you may not be able to see this good on camera but i'm going to put this against it so you can see but when you have your heddles in the down position and you don't really have to do anything to put your heddles in the down position with the cricket it's just kind of sort of the weight of the two heddles are just kind of pushing it to the down position. So it is in the down position. And but if yours, for whatever reason, isn't down, pushing it all the way down, you don't see two sets of threads at the top, then go ahead and push it down and you know push it, push them back so they're both in the down position. But mine are just like in the down position right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my blank pickup stick. And I'm going to pick up the first thread. I'm going to skip the first, I'm going to pick up the first thread. Now on both ends, you have your, your, your thread on this end and thread on that end. They're singles. They're singletons. All the threads between these two are double pairs. So we are going to pick up the second thread in each of the double pair. And we're going to put this one down. We're going to start by picking up the first thread. We're going to skip the first thread in the doubled pair and pick up the second thread. Go to the next pair. Skip the first pair and pick up the second thread. Skip the first thread, pick up the second thread. Skip the first thread, pick up the second thread. And you're going to keep doing this all the way across. And you're just pretty much taking the second thread <clears throat> or if you're facing the loom, the thread to your to your left. So the leftmost thread, you're putting that mm -hmm. on your pickup stick. The reason why I'm doing it from the front as opposed to doing it from behind is I can just see it better. And I'm just going to transfer these, the ones that I've picked up, You'll see how I'll do that in a minute. So I'm just going to keep going across, just picking it up. You can use the pickup stick um, or your paint stirrer. Since the paint, now I have real pickup sticks, and they actually have a beveled edge, which makes it easier for them to actually pick up the, the, the threads, and I wouldn't have to do this by hand. But being that I'm using a paint stirrer um, for this, I am just using my fingers, my left hand, to pick up the second thread or the thread to the my leftmost thread and putting it onto the paint stirrer. Now I'm using 10 cotton, Red Heart 10, number 10 cotton. Now when I get to the end, I have three threads. I have my set of two and then I have the single thread. So I'm gonna pick up the leftmost thread in my set of two and I'm not gonna do anything with this last one. So that one's gonna be at the bottom, okay? So the one at the, the first thread is gonna be on the top, the last thread is gonna be at the bottom. 
and that is I've picked up all my threads that are going to go on pickup stick A. Now, to transfer these threads from the front to the back, I'm going to turn this blank pickup stick onto its side to make a shed, and that shed's going to go all the way through to the back. And so now I'm going to take my pickup stick A and I'm going to put it right behind the second heddle and have I have picked up all those threads. So all the threads that I picked up in the front have transferred to the back. I'm going to push that to the back. Pickup stick A is pushed all the way back to the back. I'm going to flip it down and I'm done. So that's pickup stick A is in place. Now, <clears throat> the next thing that you're going to do you don't need this anymore, is you're going to do pickup stick B. And for pickup stick B, it's, it's, this is the part that if you use really thick thread, that um, it can be hard. So my suggestion, you know, now this is in accordance with my, my, my principles of weaving, you know, freestyle and using black warp and using thin threads with thick whatever, but you don't have for, I would say, just as you're beginning to learn, when you get better at this and you're able to see the shed and you're able to get the concept, then use whatever thread you want. But when I would, I would suggest that when you're starting out, you might want to consider using thin threads in a heddle that if you have, if you just have the, the heddles that come with the looms, and these are the eight dent heddles that come with the loom, I just got a second one to go with it, then I would suggest you use a thin thread with it because it's going to make this part so much easier. Um, when I got started, I had the Ashford and I had a seven dent loom and I used worsted weight yarn and I was so unhappy because I could not see the shed and it didn't make any sense. And I thought that everyone else was crazy because I, there was no shed for me to see. And I didn't realize then that it was just because, um, I just couldn't see it because it was sticky, sticky yarn. Anywho. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to pick, we're going to put pickup stick B in. Now what we do do to do pick up stick B is this. We're going to take both heddles and we're going to put one of the heddles into the up position and clamp stick it in. The back heddle is going to fit right there where it's supposed to. We're going to take the front heddle and put it right there beside it so that both of them are in the up position. This is the only time when you put this is the only time you're going to have it like this is when you're putting this particular pickup stick in. No other time are we going to really need to worry about this. And I'm actually going to show you a trick that makes this workable on this loom. Now, what happens? I want you to let me see. Look and see if you can see. Yes, you can see. Okay. So, the pickup stick stick is at the back. And I know I'm using black thread, forgive me, but I use black thread because it just makes everything simpler when you're weaving. You don't have to think about anything else. I'm taking pickup stick A and I'm sliding it. And look, okay, watch this. Watch those threads. Watch these threads, the second to the bottom. As I slide pickup stick A forward, the groups of threads that are the second from the bottom move up. Now I'm sliding it forward and it's forward on its side. All right. So once you slide that forward, all you have almost all your threads are in the upper layer. The only threads that are in the bottom are the threads that need to be below pick up stick B. And so there is a shed. That bottom shed. Can you see it? Okay, trust me, I'll take a picture. There's a bottom shed that is right between the one, two, three layers of threads. And you're gonna put the pickup stick B right there. I mean, if you use number 10 um, cotton thread, like what I'm using right here, it's like you could drive a truck through this, proverbially. You can totally see the thread, see the shed. It's like huge, so there's no way you can miss it. If you done it right, if you pick up this, if you pick up the threads, every other thread, like I showed you, you slide stick A to the to the front, you're left with this monstrously big shed where you're gonna put pick up stick B, and that's what you do. You just stick pick up stick B straight in there, and that's where it belongs in that bottom shed. Now you take everything, put it down, and put it in, 
put it down and so there's your pickup stick B is in the back pickup stick A is in the front and now you're ready to spread your spread your warp and start weaving so hopefully that makes sense in the next video I'm going to show you how to spread your warp and spread your warp for double weave and we're going to weave with the with a, a joint on the left hand side and then I'm going to show you you know continue and show you how to weave double weave all right let's get to it